Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about love at first sniff fragrances. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now before we get into this list, because there's loads of perfumes that I brought with me, but I don't think I'm going to go through all of them because literally a lot of the perfumes in my collection I absolutely love. But I wanted to do a little impromptu, not even a giveaway because this, let me just show you guys. So I bought this perfume months ago. It's the Scandal um, Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal Gold. And I sprayed it once when I first bought it and then... I sprayed it again for a perfume review and I don't like this perfume and I, it's just been sitting there just catching dust not getting any love but I'm pretty sure someone out there will like this perfume I don't like it it's just not my cup of tea and this is the bottle which is so so beautiful I love the packaging I could keep it for that reason so if you live in the UK in London Manchester wherever you live if you want this perfume dm me on instagram make sure you're following me though because some people will dm me and they're not following me follow me first send me a dm and i'm just gonna literally do first come first serve so all you have to do is just send me a dm and say i've watched your video and i want this perfume and i will give it to you but you literally have to get there first so this is the kind of sort of giveaway but um yeah so let's get on with the list. I have so many perfumes that I love, but I'm going to start with this one. This is Glossier U. Now I have the 50 mil here. They have 100 mil now, which I will be getting. This is the most versatile, most beautiful, musky, clean, citrusy perfume. I am obsessed. This layers with everything and anything it goes with everyone's skin chemistry differently it just smells wonderful on anybody the longevity is average doesn't project like that but people are going to smell you wonderful sillage i can't rave enough about this perfume for all year round i love them the moment that i sniffed it and i recommend you check it out but you have to like your clean musky perfumes so i just got a delivery and I'm just going to insert this in the video somewhere. I got myself Nebras by Letafa. Oh my God. This, this, this. The only reason, the only reason I got this was because of Coco. I got this because of her. Because I don't trust none of these girls out here. Like, oh, Nebras is amazing. But truly, Nebras is amazing. I don't remember the notes. But this is like a chocolatey kind of vanilla it's meant to be a dupe for um the billy eilish perfume just throw this one away actually don't, don't throw it away i just feel like this <laughs> this should be a dupe for this <laughs> i feel like this is better than the original this is amazing sophia come down a bit i'm making my daughter um hold <laughs> sophia is holding on to the um camera for me but yeah, I feel like Nebras is much better than the Billie Eilish perfume. Yeah, I forget that. This is absolutely insane. I am I'm in love. It's like literally, yeah, probably one of the best perfumes I've smelled this year so far. But yeah, let me get on with the video. So this next perfume is a little bit of a tricky one. Um, it is Hundred Talent Ways by Nishane. Now I do have quite a bit of a dent in this perfume. This was love at first sniff. I love this so much. I bought it instantly. Normally I will go around when I smell the perfumes. I will go home. I will come back. But on this particular day, I was maybe I was just I had a lot of money that day and I decided to buy this perfume and I loved it. I loved it so much and some something happens and this happens to 
a lot of people where something changes in your nose and you just can't stand the perfume anymore but i'm so glad i wasn't quick to get rid of it i kept it in my collection i reached for it recently and i was just like oh you smell lovely so i love this perfume absolutely adore it it's totally unique like in its niche oh my gosh somebody not even somebody a few people said it smells like black opium <sighs> no no it doesn't smell like black opium don't say that because i i never owned black opium that perfume is just a no for me but i've smelled back black opium on so many people i have had a sample of black opium and i can tell you from my nose they don't smell the same they don't smell the same at all in my opinion black opium to me is a very I don't want to offend anyone because I know a lot of people love that perfume. It's just like a vanilla and coffee. There isn't really anything special about it. But this to me smells more like, yes, it's got some tuberose. Um, it has some other notes. But to me, I just get a floral gourmand. Like it has a gourmand take because I smell something a bit salty and caramel like in this perfume. I love it. I think it's long lasting. I think it's amazing not blind by safe but definitely worth trying out this next perfume is not gonna come as a surprise because if you've been following me for a while i rave about this perfume when you meet me or if you guys meet me in real life this is what i smell like on a regular basis and it's oud bouquet by lancome oud rose praline vanilla sticky sweet completely me in a bottle i love it so much that i have a backup bottle and there's gonna be more backups once i open this i will buy another one i will always repurchase oud bouquet by lancome it is such a me kind of scent and if you are someone that likes the same perfumes as i do because you guys know i love sweet perfumes i do like a bit of a freshy um there's certain notes in perfumes that i detest e.g tuberose um and anything that is aquatic is isn't really my type of scent but every other perfume i actually do like um but yeah oud bouquet is perfect to me i wear this all year round in the heat of the summer in the cold of winter i wear this perfume all the time it lasts long it projects it gets me a ton of compliments and i highly recommend it so that's oud bouquet by lancome delina exclusive by performs the mali i this is another one that is me in a bottle i mix oud bouquet with delina exclusive and i can tell you i smell very nice i smell very nice i smell i smell so elegant i smell so fine i love delina exclusive i've put so many people onto it family members have delina exclusive and as much as i love them i wish this was just for me because now when i see my family members i can't wear delina exclusive because everyone else probably will be wearing it but i'm so glad people love it as much as i do i have a 30 ml my husband actually surprised me with this because he's like you're always decanting this perfume when you're going out i just saw this 30 ml i thought let me buy it for you and he bought it for me so i've got two delina exclusives and i'm absolutely in love this is a rose oud creamy sweet um a little bit milky but not milky like milk actually no take that back it's more of a creamy scent not really a milky one it's so incredible this is rose done in the most elegant and sophisticated way i am obsessed so i'm not going to say too much <laughs> about this next perfume because it has sadly been discontinued and this is alien essence absolute by mugla why did they discontinue this will never make sense to me this is alien but with a ton like gallons of vanilla i love this i also have a backup bottle thank goodness and i bought the backup bottle for a pretty penny but i love this so much i had to get it you can still find it but it is so expensive to find this is like i said it's like alien which is like a very heavy jasmine super super floral strong scent but take all the strength away and infuse a lot of vanilla and this is what alien absolute is i'm just like the first time i sniffed this i was wowed by it it is such a compliment magnet i don't wear it often because like i said it has been discontinued and i can't find it anywhere and this is one of those perfumes i just want to have forever and ever 
but i know one day i'm gonna have to finish it because perfumes do expire yes they do but if you store them correctly you put them in you know in a in a dark place in a cool space with no sunlight and you look after your bottles they are going to last your perfume will last you a long time um, but i don't want a perfume expiring on me because that would just be a waste of money and that would really annoy me but anyway that is alien essence absolute by Mugler. this is my favorite kayali and this is sweet diamond pink pepper i love this like when i first smelled this perfume ah it's so good this is a spicy rose with a little bit of oud even though oud is enlisted i i i sense a bit of oud in this perfume this is sweet this is rose i love rose as well by the way rose was one of those um perfume notes that i used to hate because i used to kind of associate it with older people with like grandmas which is just so shallow of me but in the last i want to say four years i've been really loving a rose perfume and this is probably one of my absolute favorite rose scent ever this is also mona katan's favorite kayali it's so amazing if you are looking for a kayali perfume that lasts this is it if you are looking for a compliment beast of a perfume this is the one it is so beautiful but you have to like rose you have to like sugar and you have to like spices neroli blanc intense this was love at first sniff i actually smelled this at an event a few years ago and i could not believe how much i was acting a fool at this place i was like oh my god this is incredible this is amazing this is mouth watering this is so addictive like i just love this like the proof is in my dent i feel like this is the best orange blossom perfume ever yes i said it i have smelled a lot of orange blossom perfumes there's something about them that just doesn't really have me like hooked and i'm definitely hooked <laughs> i'm hooked on this one for sure again i have a 10 percent discount code on this perfume and like no one hates this i again i've put so many people onto this and it's one of those perfumes that everybody has come back to say it's amazing this could be a really good signature scent because a lot of people tend to want to build a perfume collection you don't need to find five perfumes that you love absolute five is more than enough for any average person you gotta remember i do this as i do youtube so i buy perfumes to review i test perfumes all the time and i am a little bit of a collector as well but i collect perfumes that i love i'm not just buying perfumes for the sake of it but if you're like an average person and you're watching um, fragrance content videos get yourself five amazing perfume and make this one one of them sharaf blend by zimaya listen to me listen to me i will not lie i wasn't really into middle eastern perfumes and that is the honest truth i'm not gonna come out here like everyone else that's just jumping on the bandwagon that's not my style that's not me i was not into it but my first ever middle eastern perfume was shagaf oud by swiss arabian and i also have casablanca now shagaf oud i got rid of because it used to give me a headache it was so strong and it was too sharp i just couldn't deal with it Plus, it's a jeep for Oud Bouquet by Lancome, which I already had. And I also have Swiss Arabian. But I think those are the only two Middle Eastern perfumes I've ever bought. However, I wear a lot of Middle Eastern body oils. I have a lot of the vanilla, the musky ones. I do wear the body oils, but I'm not into the perfumes until now. Sharaf Blend, guys, is like Angel Share. But imagine Angel Share, sweeter, less boozy more appealing really likable super smooth to the nose this is what you get this lasts long on me anyway i don't know about anyone else on me because i shower a lot I, I i scrub my skin i moisturize a lot and then i spray my perfume so this lasts on me literally for the whole day when i wear this to work i don't take a decant with me and everybody loves this perfume coco peps has a 15 percent discount code because i think the last time i said it was 10 percent, but i think it's 15 but i will leave the code there unfortunately the brand doesn't ship outside of the uk for now 
for now but the moment they ship outside of the uk i will let you guys know this perfume is absolutely divine and it's less than 40 pounds you cannot go wrong with it it is amazing choco mask is another one that i love i sniffed this perfume and i was just like wow 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 wow, wow. this is such a wow perfume if only it lasted a little bit longer this is literally after an hour if that is gone disappears finito it literally just leaves your skin like it was never there in the first place but the oil i hear is really really good so i'm gonna order that from amazon and i heard that it smells exactly like the perfume but it has better um, longevity Choco Mux is a chocolatey, musky vanilla scent. It smells like Choco Milo. If you are Nigerian, you know Choco Milo is just such a tempting, sweet, chocolatey, but like a light chocolate, milky scent. That's what Choco Musk gives me. This is amazing. It's like less than 10 pounds. You can't go wrong with it, but you may need to get like two, three bottles, but because this has one of the worst longevity i've ever ever come across but the scent profile is so divine and it layers well with a lot of perfume so that is choco musk the next perfume is sweet rose i haven't spoken about this perfume is so in so long and i've tested so many perfumes from this brand but this is my favorite this is literally a sweet rosy amazing um perfectly unisex my husband wears this more than i do i don't know what it is but rose smells really good on men i've noticed that rose and men's skin chemistry does something sexy on women it just smells feminine and just floral and just like sensual but on men there's something sexy about it but yeah sweet rose was love at first sniff this gave me everything i've ever wanted in a rose perfume and so much more oud isn't listed but i do get a very woody woody type of scent from this especially in the dry down longevity is absolutely insane like literally two days three days you are still smelling this perfume it is that amazing <sighs> malo by zora dora guys look at the den i got this perfume sent to me thank you so much saradora this was sent to me was it not earlier this year or very very late last year and look at what i've done this is somewhat me i have 300 and something perfumes in my collection but yet i can't get enough of malo malo is marshmallow malo is sweet malo gives me a bit of a fruity tanginess in the opening i can't really think of the fruit on the top of my head but it gives me a fruitiness and then it dries down to this fluffy um, marshmallowy powdery kind of perfume it is honestly sensational i absolutely love it next is double caramel by mula mula now don't watch that there isn't much dent um i wear this perfume i just don't need a lot of it because it's very very strong it projects really well this smells almost identical to the original uh mula mula but the caramel in here gives it an extra edge not even an edge so to speak it's more it gives it like a sweetness like a sweetness that i really love but you've got to wait till the dry down i think i made the mistake of thinking the caramel wasn't enough but i think the caramel is just enough the dry down of this perfume is everything leave it in your collection let it macerate for a month or so spray it on your skin you will get a very sweet oody kind of scent this is a gourmand that isn't too sweet or cloying it's very likable i do prefer this to the original because of that caramel it lasts so long like when i got this and i sniffed it i was shocked like i sprayed it in my living room it took over everywhere i was so pleasantly surprised i highly recommend this perfume if you've got this perfume comment down below and let me know what you think of it let the people know what you think of this perfume so this next perfume was literally my introduction to bond perfumes and this is new york nights the only thing i don't like about the bond perfumes is this bottle it's not pretty is it it's not it's just it's just quite square and like mm, i love the color i love the color of the bottle i love everything about it but i just feel like this shape is just 
I don't know, a bit of a rounder edge would have been nicer. But anyhow, this is gourmand. <laughs> this is so sweet. We're talking caramel coffee. It's got some C notes. It's giving a little bit of floral touches. Um, but this is an ultimate gourmand perfume that isn't for everybody. I have given a sample of this perfume to a friend. I've also given it to my sister. My sister says she threw it away. Um, but then again, my sister doesn't like sweet perfumes. I don't even know why I gave her a sample. My sister wears Oud Isfahan. And she wears super strong perfumes that just are just masculine leaning in my opinion. But she hated this. And my friend didn't really like it much. So I wouldn't say go and blind buy this. But the people that love this perfume absolutely adore it. Like I said... It's a very gourmand smelling perfume, but it's different. It's different from your escapade gourmand. It's different from like those sticky sweets like Devotion. It's so different from those perfumes. If you can get your nose on this first, please do. It has great longevity, smells unique, and it will get you compliments. And this is one that I only wear during the um, autumn and winter months because it's very, very, very sweet. So that is New York Nights by Bond number no. nine. And last but not least is Chloe Natural. Now, nobody, this is my second bottle, by the way. No, this is my third bottle because I had a 30 mil, I had a 50 mil, and I finished them. Yes, I finished both bottles, and this is the third one. I think this perfume is the best Chloe perfume. I, disco I <laughs> discovered this perfume when it came out. And I think I was like at the perfume shop or something like that. And I sniffed this and I thought, what what in the wow like it literally took my breath away this has a note of date if you like jardins the misfa you are going to adore this perfume it is a sweet a solar effect type of scent it's a little bit floral it's very different it gives a little bit of a this is gonna sound weird like a metallic -y vibe but in the best possible way can you blind buy this? Yes. <laughs> if you like dates, yes, you can blind buy this. If you, I don't even want to say if you like the Chloe line because this has nothing to do with the Chloe line. This is because I have the original Chloe. I got the Nomad and I have this one. But this one, I feel like they could have called this something completely different because it's nothing like all of the Chloe perfumes. It's so divine. It's so special. It smells like a niche perfume and it's somewhat affordable for a designer scent. I definitely would recommend this if you like a sweet perfume with dates. That is it for this video, my loves. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Don't forget to DM me if you want Scandal Gold um, and I will send it to the first person that DMs me. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.